This page is going to help us get ready for our Calico Corn art project. Now, when we do a value scale, we're going to use our pencil in some areas pushing hard to create a very dark value. And in some areas, we're going to push lighter with our pencil to create a more highlighted value. So the first part of the value scale up at the top, we're just going to practice using different pressures of our pencil. So this first square, I'm going to color inside the lines but I'm pushing as hard as I can without breaking the pencil. So I want this to be a really, really dark orange color or whatever color you decide to use. You don't have to use orange, you could choose any color. Now in the next box, I'm going to still be pushing hard, but not quite as hard as I was before. You should be able to tell a slight difference between this square and the first one. It should appear just a little tiny bit lighter. And once again, I'm still coloring inside the lines. The next square, I'm gonna do the same thing. Pushing just a little bit lighter. Hopefully I can tell a difference between this square and the one before it. And I'm just gonna keep on going until this square is almost white. Now this next box is gonna be the same thing, except this time we're doing a gradual change of value. Sometimes this is called a gradient. So I'm pushing hard on one end, and then I'm just gradually lessening the pressure of my pencil as I move down the rectangle. Sometimes when I don't want to put very much pressure on my pencil, I hold the whole pencil way farther back, and that makes it a little harder to press hard so you can get a better light value. There we go, and it gradually fades from dark to light. And now kind of the important part is you have to go in and fill in the shape nicely after you've kind of got that first part done. So I'm doing the corners to match the rest of the value scale that I did in the middle. Just like that. Now this bottom shape is an actual corn kernel that we get to practice on. We're gonna be using on value on this one too, except we're sort of gonna be doing it in a different shape than just the rectangle. All of the edges of our corn kernel are going to be dark and the light area is actually gonna be in the center as you can sort of see on the finished example here. So I'm gonna just pick any side to start working and I'm coloring hard when I'm close to the edge. And then as I get towards the center, I get lighter. And I'm gonna kind of turn my paper as I work so that I can have the right angle for my coloring. Kind of like we're doing a bunch of different sections of value scale as we move our paper around. Always pushing hard at the edge and then getting lighter in the center. And sometimes if you are doing a bigger area, you can kind of curve your coloring lines with the curve of your corn kernel. Whenever you're coloring rounded objects like this, sometimes you have to curve your coloring lines so that it matches. That's called contour coloring. You're coloring with the contour of your shape. There, now once I'm done, I always kind of go back and touch up any areas that need to be touched up. I don't want to see any scratchy pencil lines. I want my pencil coloring to be smooth. Dark at the edge, lighter in the middle. A little white oval is left in the center. And that makes my kernel of corn look realistic and three-dimensional. After you've finished your practice page, you'll be ready to start the real thing.